Man, I am so sick of Hallmark. Yeah, me too. Oh, check this out. Yo, she looks good. You're not kidding. She looks like Tara. My brother's girlfriend? No way. Do you think your brother and Tara are, you know? I don't think so, but I'm not completely sure. I bet you they're doing it. Your brother's got a maid. Tara looks so good. Yeah, he really likes her. They must be doing it. Maybe. I think I'd know. What are you guys talking about? Uh, nothing, really. Come on, Nick. Here's your chance. Go on and ask him. Ask me what? You want to know, too. Know what? You know, are you and Tara doing it? <laughs> oh, man. You guys are real mature. Look, just mind your own business, all right? I told you you're doing it. Oh, really? Who told you that? No one exactly. <laughs> See, that's how rumors get started, man. Well, since it's so obvious, you guys will be surprised that we're not having sex. I knew it. How long is she making you wait? <laughs> She's not making me wait. We just both agree that it's something we don't want to get into. What? You don't want to do it? Look, I may want to do it. It's just that we talked about it and we just think it might complicate things. How? I don't know. Like, we both have a lot to concentrate on, like school and sports and stuff. I don't know. And we don't want to be like a married couple or anything. Besides, it's not like we don't kiss and stuff. Don't you feel embarrassed? You're like the only guy your age who hasn't done it yet. Actually, most of the guys that I know haven't done it. Even though some of them say they do. It seems like they have. Well, don't believe everything you hear in the locker rooms. Dear Zach, I have a question. I heard that if a guy gets excited and wants to have sex, but then he doesn't do it, it's bad for his health. Is this true? No, it's not true. Abstaining from sex will not hurt you. It's a totally untrue myth. Some of the myths kids believe can be very dangerous. For example, a girl who believes that you can't get pregnant the first time you have sex might very well find herself pregnant after only one experience. There are lots of birth control myths. Some people think that if you have sex standing up, or if you take a bath after sex, you won't get pregnant. But that's not true either. Sometimes kids think that their friends are reliable sources of information about sex. But the truth is that most kids are not having sex and don't have most of the facts straight anyway. We have a few more letters here from kids. Let's see if we can answer some of their questions and maybe some of yours at the same time. Dear Holly and Zach, I have a crush on this girl at school. I kind of think she might like me too, but I don't know. This is the thing. Every time I see her, I feel nervous. I can never think of what to say, and when I do talk, I sound dumb. I feel like a big jerk. What should I do? I remember feeling like that. <laughs> I think we all feel like that at one time or another. <laughs> My advice would be to be yourself. You might feel a little nervous, but most people feel like that in the beginning, when they're around someone they like. If you have reason to believe that she likes you too, she probably feels the same way when she's around you. Crushes can be a lot of fun and can feel really exciting. So even though it sounds impossible, try to enjoy it. What's up with Evan? Oh, nothing really. I mean, you know, I've gone to school with him for all these years, but I've never really noticed him. Like, really noticed him. He's cute. Looks like Morgan is starting to notice boys in a new way. Her hormones must be on the rise. Here's a letter with a pretty common problem. Dear Holly, this is so embarrassing, but I have to tell someone. I think I like my art teacher. I know he's too old for me, but I think he's really cute and nice. I really like art, and he's such a good artist. The other day, he said something funny in class, and I laughed way too hard. I'm worried he thinks I'm weird. Am I weird? <laughs> you are not weird. Although you are right, he is too old for you. Your crush will probably pass after a while, so don't worry. It is very common for kids to have crushes on teachers, coaches, counselors, even on celebrities. It is normal to have a crush on someone you look up to. Sometimes friends even have crushes on each other. Having a crush just means that you like someone a lot. And liking someone is totally normal. Of course, that doesn't mean that you have to date that person. Crushes come and go, sometimes very quickly. That's a good point. Just because you have a crush doesn't mean you're going to end up in a relationship with that person. There's a difference between a crush and a relationship. Definitely. Crushes are fun and exciting, but when you really get to know a person, hopefully you start to respect and care for who they really are. 
Sometimes kids confuse having a crush with being in love. Love comes after you really get to know and trust someone. And that takes time. Crushes can feel very strong. Sometimes people get swept up in that feeling and decide to have sex with the person who they have a crush on. Unfortunately, because crushes are not based on love and trust, they often don't last. When someone has had sex with the person they thought they loved, and then it doesn't work out, it can make them lose some of their self-respect. They might feel like they gave a special part of themselves to someone who didn't really care about them. It's important to think about your values about sex. Thinking it through and making a decision ahead of time is better than ending up in a situation where you have to make a decision under pressure. It is much easier to stick to a decision you've already made than to try to choose the right thing for yourself under pressure. When you've already decided not to have sex, then you can avoid situations where you might be pressured to do it. That brings me to one last letter. Dear Holly and Zach, I never thought this would happen to me. I was at a party dancing with this guy I like. Some other kids brought beer with them, and everyone was drinking. I wanted this guy to like me, and he was drinking, so I drank too. Later, when we were alone, he started trying to go too far, if you know what I mean. At first, it was like I just didn't mind. But then I realized what was happening, and I tried to stop it. I mean, I really like him, but I hardly know him, and I didn't want to go there. Now he thinks I'm a baby, and I heard his friends calling me a tease. I feel really bad. I can understand why you feel bad right now. People often regret things they've done when they were high. Unfortunately, alcohol lets you do things that you wouldn't ordinarily do, even though you might feel badly about it later. Alcohol, pot, drugs in general affect the way we make decisions. This girl decided not to have sex, but the alcohol made her temporarily not care about what is important to her. It also made it harder to say no when she wanted to. About the guy you like? If this boy thinks you're a baby, then he's not for you anyway. <laughs> Boyfriends and girlfriends should respect each other's decisions, even if they don't agree with them. You have the right to make your own decisions without being called names like a tease. That's what we call a manipulation, when someone tries to make you feel bad for making a decision that they don't like. Don't worry, eventually your bad feelings will pass. Remember that you made the right decision. If you had made the wrong decision, you'd feel a lot worse for a much longer time. Remember to think ahead and make decisions about what is important to you. Think about it carefully. You'll respect yourself more if the decisions you make are based on your values and beliefs because you'll need to accept responsibility for what you do. But don't forget to have fun, too. Enjoy these times in your life and the friendships you're making now. They may last a lifetime. <laughs>